Hey, this is Dave from Forward Motion, and I am here to take you through HD Movie Maker Pro. And how we'll start is by creating a new project. Alright, there's our blank canvas, and next we are going to add a clip, our very first one. We're going to click on Photo and Video. And then we are going to choose our first video clip from our Windows Explorer folder. Once we click on open, it'll import. And we have our very first clip on the timeline. And you can go ahead and add two more. When we click on that first clip and we press play, we're going to be able to see what we have there already. I like how friendly this clip is, I like the action, the movement as the cinematographer frames and reframes with our dancer's movement. So altogether a nice clip. And our second clip. looking quite uh, <laughs> I don't know next and last clip and there we go so we go to more tools so that we can see how we can split the video into different segments and let's see how we handle the first one right so what you can do is you can scrub forward and as you scrub forward by clicking and dragging on the playhead you can make a choice about where you want to add your first splitter. Okay, that looks like a good place. I'm going to add a splitter there. And then we can scrub forward again in our timeline to a point where we feel we can add a second splitter. There we go. And forward some more to see if we want to add a third splitter. And then once we click on OK, we're going to add those clips back into the timeline and you can go ahead and you can split each of those three clips using the same method that I've just shown you. There we go, scrubbing forward to add our first splitter, scrubbing forward. Okay, there we go, add splitter, scrubbing forward some more, and we might not need a second splitter here, <laughs> okay, there we go. Now what we can do is we can click on the different segments that we don't want and we can delete them from our timeline. Go ahead, delete, delete, delete until you have the clips that you want to use. There we go. Wonderful. Right. I want to show you, you can also arrange your clips, so you can drag and drop them in the order that you'd like to have them play in your video. And when we click OK, we'll see that the order has changed on the timeline. There we go. Right. 
Right. So now what we can also do is we can also move the clips in the timeline simply by dragging and dropping. And let's add our final photograph, something that I prepared in graphical image manipulation program. And uh, we can also move it and change its placement in our timeline. If we play on this photograph, we see that it's still in terms of its movement and we can go ahead and add some motion. Click on the desired motion and then by pressing play we can see what that looks like. There we go. And I'd like to add a transition. HD Movie Maker Pro offers you a wide variety of transitions from clip to clip and we want, trans we want to transition from uh, our third clip to our final photograph and we do it like that with the fly eye. There we go. Now we can add the soundtrack, we can insert music, and we are going to use one of our local music files. And once we open it, it will open that music track where our playhead is at the beginning of the timeline. I'm scrubbing forward to the back. And I am going to click on the playhead at the bottom of the circle to select a portion and trim. And now I'm going to create what we call an audio fade or a fade out. I use effect and I'm going to go for fade out. go and then I scroll back, choose volume and I am just going to reduce the overall volume of our music track. There we go. I go back and now we can press play. And there we have our final video. Well done. Save your project. Enter a project name that makes sense to you. And after that, we can save our video. We're going to stick with the suggested settings for now. And when we click OK and choose where to save our dance video, we can click on save. There we are. And our video will be encoded in no time. And there you have it. Your very first video using HD Movie Maker Pro. And uh, next time we'll look at some of the titling options in Movie Maker. Have a great day!